Australia's on track. As we, we were just saying that Finland in their warm-up are evidently trying to challenge themselves with oh. more things because they have put some cones on the track because Derby is too easy for Finland. Yes, I think we are going to play obstacle roller derby later on. I have a really good idea for glow-in-the-dark roller derby where wow. I think we put glow-in-the-dark uniforms. Those are finalized rosters. We put uh, glow-in-the-dark track lines down, glow-in-the-dark helmet covers, and I think that will go really well and be very safe. I, I totally agree. I, th I think so too. You know, and amazingly, nobody has taken this idea from me. Yes. We know. Okay, I'm. Uh, we are play We are. You are looking the, at the game for Norway against uh, Finland, uh, a Scandinavian battle right here in Manchester. Uh, for Norway, I will read you the names and the numbers, the people to look out for. That is 018 Hulky, 08 Esplendid, 12 Edna Len Lengra, 19 Crazy Norse, 217 Benny Kill, 31 Hammer, 42 Fatal Feline, 47 Jollywood, 52 Rocky Gold, 69 Susie Hot Dog, 747 Hell Broke Loose, 77 Winberg, 79 Torture, 9000 Ona, and 933 Bows. And the roster for Finland who will be playing in the bright blue, we have 00 Zuna, 00, zero Ona, 103 Erika Luto, 156 Mia, 18 Rukuranta, 24 Kuyala, 257 Lura, 28 Nina Erbes, 39 Maya Renna, 410 Mora Maranen, 49 Ida Suentu, 56 AM Castrin, 777 Sarah Gilbert, 85 Latte Kanen, 90 Salah Karilenen, and 999 Patepop. That is your roster for Finland. We now have the players lining up on the track for the first jam. And Pate Pop and uh, 31 Hammer are standing on the jammer line for this first jam. And as you said, it was a Scandi battle today. Both teams will know each other very well. They will have encountered each other before. And it is a quick lead there for Team Finland and Pate Pop, who is very excited. And coming around into their first scoring pass. In the meantime, we have 31 Hammer still struggling with that Finland wall. And Pate Pop takes the inside line for a full five points. Strong offense there by the Norwegian team and they, their jammer is through. Hate Pop pops through and calls the jam. Finland draw first blood in this game, which has been played on track two, the blood and thunder track. That is nine to naught in favor of Finland. On the jammer line now we have 156 MIA or MIA and I believe that's Rocky Gold 5-2 for Norway. We will get a better view of the jam line in a moment. And it is Rocky Gold. But it is another quick lead for Finland. She went strong for the brace there. So the, the players had to cut loose. And there we see Rocky Gold breaking out of the pack also as Mia comes through on the first scoring pass. And the second jam is called. Norway have two points on the board from that jam, taking the score to 13 Finland, two for Norway. The teams are quick to line up again. 
7-9 for Norway, Torture, and 24, Kuyala for Finland. And they are at the Rolacon start line. Thank you, Rolacon, for sponsoring the start line on this track. A third lead jump in a row for Finland. And the pack moves into the third turn. Quickly passes all the blockers and then calls off the jam to make sure that Norway cannot score any points. It will be interesting today to see how these games go, having played two 30-minute games yesterday. Each team now plays one full-length game today. We may see a change in pace and strategy as they adjust to that different format. That is 7-7-7 Sarah Gilbert for Finland. Coming up against 7-7 Winberg for Norway, the battle of the sevens. Yeah, a lot of sevens going on So there. many sevens. And the pack is in the near straightaway. Both jammers battling against these brace three walls. The for, for the first time, the jammer for Finland struggles a bit, passing the wall for Norway, getting a strong offense. And are we going to see the first lead of the game for Norway? 7-7 Winberg breaks free. And the pack speeds up, coming into back into turn one. And we will see what the score has happened. Nicely defensively played by Finland. No points were scored in the last jam. Yeah, I think uh, Winberg thought that she got her hips past the blocker, but refs say no points stand. <laughs> We would like to thank Sisu Mouthguards, the official mouthguard of the 2018 Roller Derby World Cup. And we are now into jam five and another lead jam for Finland with Pate Pop out of the pack coming in for her first scoring pass. A lot of blockers in the box going for Norway. That makes their, their walls a bit harder to defend. And Pate Pop takes full advantage. In the meantime, we do have 9,000 Una with the star in hand for Finland, for Norway, my apologies. And she pushes them out of play so that she could pass them quite easily. And in the meantime, Pate Pop has a little lie down, coming back into turn four, cause the jam off from the floor. Derby is hard work, sometimes you have to lay down. And here we're seeing the replay of Pate Pop just coming around beautifully on that one foot for those points. Empty penalty box for the next gem. And it is, I believe, 31 Hammer for Norway and 156 Mia for Finland. And Mia battles through on the outside, picking up another lead jam for Team Finland. The Norwegian jammer is being recycled all the way back to the pack. And then we have Mia calling the jam. So we're seeing, I think, already much faster paced jams than yesterday. Yesterday we saw a lot of teams running these jams just, you know, to gain a larger points differential uh, to aid the seedings and the matchups for today. Today it is all about the winning. And also about the endurance. And the endurance, because it is an hour full length game compared to two 30 minute halves from yesterday. I believe that is rookie gold once again for Norway and number two for Kuyala. Their first jam for Finland. And they have picked up a quick lead. Kuyala enters the pack on their first scoring pass. 
There has been a forearm called, but it is not on Kuyala, who takes the full five. Norwegian jammer with the start in hand. Yep, Rocky Gold there working. It, uh, she is out of the pack. Behind Kuyala, who looks to her bench to say, shall I call it? No, I will run it. Oh no, and as Rocky Gold enters the pack, Kuyala calls it before any points can be put on the board for Norway. So Norway held scoreless in that jam. Finland have quite a significant lead now. 44 plays two. And we are almost eight minutes into this game. Two blockers in the box for Finland. A little bit of a struggle for the pivot line. And it is a lead for Norway. I believe their second lead of the game. And that is Torcha, number 7-9. Beautiful offense there by the Norwegian blockers pushing the Finnish blockers away so that their jammer could pass quite easily. And some great one-on-one -on -one blocking there from Finland at the front as they force Torcha to slide pendulum style to and fro across the track and forces a jam. But there are three points on the board there for Norway. Their first points in quite a number of jams. Yes. Uh, first number of points in five jams, in fact. And there we have a nice little shot of Finland's bench. Jammers chatting with their walls, looking quite relaxed. I mean, why wouldn't you be? This is only the World Cup. It's not a big deal. It's not like it's You're only really defending your honor, the honor of your country. I think all of these countries have honor, but right now it is Finland out in front with Pasebop with lead again for Finland. They enter the pack on their first scoring pass. Take the out, take the in. In the meantime, we have Norway's jammer pushing on a Finland two-wall at the front, who is doing a great job of just covering that track with their lateral movements. But she is through on the out. Oh, I spoke too soon. A yes. cut track has been issued. Yeah, to one foot out. And sometimes one foot is all it takes. So that means 7-7 seven, seven Winberg will sit, I believe, the full 30 seconds in the penalty box as the jam comes to an end, leaving Finland on a power start, which at this point is a very, very dangerous situation for Norway to be in. Uh, there is a jammer for Norway on the track, so a little bit confusion. It was. It might have been a no pass, no penalty mm, in possibly. the end. This is why I'm not a referee, you see. So <laughs> the officials know what they're doing. Don't listen to me, good yeah. people at home. We're only trying. We are. We're trying our very best. And in the meantime, we have another lead jam for Finland. That's Kuyala. Quick pass there by the outside. I love Kuyala's style of jamming. They are very strong and calm. You don't see them being frantic, and you see the cogs turning in their head as they come round on each pass. They know where they want to go, and they want their t See? You see? Yes. They're very good at the thinking and the jamming at the same time. Yes, and the, the offense from their team is also really good. Direct, active offense there. Here's, uh, that. here's the replay, that, so that the Norwegian wall is completely shattered when their jammer enters the back. Yeah, very, very smart derby here. Not just great skating, but great mental game as well. And we will see what number three one Hemmer can do against seven 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 Sarah Gilbert. Sarah Gilbert pushing at the front. They are lead jammer for Finland after a matter of seconds. And in the meantime, Hemmer has escaped the pack. Oh. A little hop there on the inside. And some confusion. I don't think confusion necessarily. Oh, I yeah, I was confused. I mean, I, w <laughs> I personally was confused. I don't think the players were confused. I think Sarah Gilbert, they were looking to the bench going, shall I call it? Do I call it? Do I risk it? Slowed it down a little bit. 
we saw an attempted apex jump from Hema, but there's, whilst her skates, I believe, did land in bounds, I do not think they got any points on that jump. Well, if she falls... Well, she might have landed upright for a second. If she lands upright yeah. and inbound, the points would have been hers. But I think she landed just a fraction after the whistle. So no points there for Norway again. 66 for Finland altogether. And unbelievably, we have not even played a quarter of this game. Ah, uh, there, the Ihana Salakat Ihana. And do you know what that means? No. My Norwegian slash Finnish is very weak. I think it's Finnish. And uh, we, uh, the only thing I know in Finnish is kaksikala, that means two fish. I see. Well, there are no fish on skates here. We are not, uh, well, not that kind of game. It's a very specific sign of knowledge. Although I believe the Finnish team are calling other herrings. Like the herrings, is that the ah, animal okay. on their shirts or yes. their merch? What a wonderful animal to represent. Yeah. Yes, it is. Well, it's a delicacy in, in Finland. The more you know. Yeah. I'm learning things at this Roller Derby It's World quite Cup. salty. I don't really <laughs> like it. <laughs> we have 999. Uh, Padebop becoming a familiar name here as she takes lead once again for Finland. Look at her footwork when she enters the pack. It's truly amazing. It's pretty good, isn't it? Yes. And we have Rocky Gold. Papa. Uh, who is out of the pack? Rocky Gold, a very strong jammer. I, at Road to Manchester, they were a big, big point scorer for their team. But at the moment, they are just not being given the space to do so by Finland. No. Here we have an instant replay of that footwork on the inside there. She saw the hole, she took the hole and got lead. We would like to thank S1 Helmets, the official helmet of the 2018 Roller Derby World Cup. The S1 Lifer helmet has the best fit and best protection and is made for Roller Derby. Get a Lifer, be a Lifer. And it is 7-9 Torture for Norway. Quick recycle there by number 12 for Norway. That is Edna Lingra. And they are recycling Kuyula. Yes. Lead for Norway, second time this game, third, yeah, third time this game. But it is a jammer chase we are seeing on screen there. The pack really speeding up, both teams trying to prevent the other jammer from passing any of their players. It is Norway at the back, so Finland with more opportunity for points. But of course, Norway has the power to call the jam. Oh, I think we may have some points picked up there. Always difficult to keep your defense up when you're going at that speed. Of course. I don't know how the referees managed to keep track of all the points. <laughs> yes. Lovely little bit of backwards skating there from Torture. Who decides to call the jam? And there were points on the board there for Norway. Yes. But also four. for Finland. Yeah, 4-4 four, four in this jam. An on the nose jam. I don't know why we call it that, but it's say uh, when the score is even, we say it's on the no the score is on the nose. Okay, I've never heard of it. English is a very strange language. I've been speaking it my whole <laughs> life, and I still do not understand. <laughs> well, why we do this? Yes, well, I speak Dutch, and Dutch is also a very strange language. Ah, uh, we love the Dutch, though. We love uh. the Dutch. And it's the battle of the sevens again. Seven, seven, seven. Sarah Gilbert against seven, eleven. Winberg and Sarah Gilbert again. They are an incredibly accomplished and calm skater. And they take that outside line like they've been doing it their whole life. A quick four points and that jam. You can see Sarah Gilbert's muscles from here. They are, yes. they are making me want to go to the gym. <laughs> yeah. Goals, be more like Sarah Gilbert. <laughs> There are a lot of derby players here that I'm like, wow, they are very muscular. Uh, yeah, a lot of the players here at this wonderful tournament are just making me want to go and work out, but it seems like a lot of effort. I'll just stick to announcing it's for a little while. It's probably a lot of work. <laughs> uh, we have 999 against 3-1 uh, Hammer. So 999 is Patepop again. They have boundless energy. It must be their magic shorts, yes. which once again have earned them lead jammer status. And I believe, I may be corrected on this, I believe Pate Pop has had Lee Jammer 
every time she has been out on track today. And that is correct. So 100% lead jammer status for Pate Pop with the glittery face. She is, however, a little bit stuck behind that strong defense by Norway, but there was a penalty call, a little bit confusion, and then she got through. Now strong offense done by the Norwegian players for their own Jemmer, who is still on her initial pass. Yeah, Norway having to work very hard at the moment as they are light in the pack and their walls are very broken apart. We see the reform there as Patepop comes back in. She takes the line whenever she sees the smallest amount of place there. And we see Norway setting up on the apex to try to catch Pate Pop. Just scoops okay. past number 12, Edda Lingra. This is a huge jam for Finland. It feels like the biggest jam so far, and it is. I've just had that confirmed. The biggest jam of this game so far for either team, of course. And, and the jammer of Norway is being uh, recycled again backwards. Number 39 for Finland takes the opportunity uh, to also do offense for her Jammer. And we are going to see Finland, I believe, hit the century mark in a second. With all players now on track. And just as the whistle blows, 31 Hemmer breaks through. I think they managed to hold Hemmer for the whole pass. And what an amazing effort there from Pate Pop, who has picked up 47 points so far in this game. That's but half it, of yeah. the total for Finland. Yeah, that is pretty pretty much half. The math is not quite my no. thing, but it is, it is rough. Let's say roughly it's there. So we now have 52 Rocky Gold and already out in front for Finland. It is number 5-6. We have a star pass to number 69 for uh, Susie Hot Dog. And now Susie Hot Dog was a hero of the track yesterday in Norway's game against Australia. They only gained 10 points and those 10 points were picked up in the last jam and they were all picked up by Susie Hot Dog. So she is something of a national treasure right now. Yes. But unfortunately, A.M. Kastrin, the, who is the lead jammer for Finland, is not gonna let them be the hero of the track right now. Calling the jam. Well. 108, Finland plays nine for Norway, so a huge differential. But a reminder that this is a full length game. Some teams like to shake it up a bit in the second half. We shall see if Norway are going to pull out any tricks in this last 11 and a half minutes. As we see the setup, Norway is not giving up on their three plus one strategy. Um, they still choose for a strong and active offense. Sometimes when you get pushed back in, in this kind of points, you choose for a full defense wall. For sure, but they are sticking with it, as you say. Yes. Sarah Gilbert uh, manages to bypass that though for lead. Torture, no, not torture, my apologies. <laughs> I believe, oh no, it was torture, my apologies again. It was out of the pack for Norway, but once again, a scoreless jam. Uh, we'll see, we'll look at those muscles again when she passes us. I mean... It's hard not to. It is hard not to, they are amazing. We have on the track Kuyala and number 7-7? Seven, seven? Yep, 7-7, seven, seven, that is Winberg. All right. So. Very fast, juky start there. Both jammers dodging to opposite edges of the track, but it is Kuyala with the lead. Nice there, it's seen by number 7-7 seven, seven, uh, to play the, the wall open for Finland and then trying to look for the hole. Mm. Unfortunately, she fell, so she's still working on her initial pass while Kuyala is on her second scoring pass. Yes, no, Winberg battling there, did take the pack into turn three, has reset, is coming around in turn three again. She has removed the star, but the pivot is that Susie Hot Dog has been sent to the penalty box, so no star pass will be enabled for Norway. 
Finland doing just a great job at swarming and reforming around that jammer. Nicely staying inbounds there by Kuyala. Getting a massive hit, but still managing to stay on the line. And there's just, we're seeing some penalties called there, but I think we are all now where we should be. So Finland with a full complement of blockers on track. Norway too light as they set up in the apex. Oh, some great offense off it up there by 1-0-3, Erika Lauto. Never forget that this floor is extremely slippery. So everyone is trying their best to stay upright at all times. I mean, falling is part of the game, but also this floor, this floor is, you're really getting to see the speed, not just of the jammers, but of the, uh, the skating ability of the whole pack as they speed up in those jams and still manage to stay controlled and centered. Finland, we have just been informed, have earned 58 points in the last four jams alone. That is a huge, huge scoring run for Finland. And if Pate Pop has anything to say about it with their lead status, they are going to make that scoring run even larger. Now working on their first scoring pass, they take a knee to the inside. Recycled back by 42, Fatal Feline. Full defense wall there by Norway. And in the meantime, 9000 Una is, was out of the pack for Norway. And unfortunately, no points, but it's interesting that they are not playing uh, Una as often. I have seen them be much more central to Norway's jammer rotation, so maybe they are conserving her strength for later in the day. Uh, but certainly, when she is on track, she is a force to be reckoned with. She's one of the few Norway. Jammers who are breaking out of the pack most times, they are on track. Well, we haven't seen a two-minute jam yet, I think. Yeah, no, Finland very much in control, not yes. needing to run those jams, and not really many jammer penalties either, although now I have yes. said that, there will be a cut track, because this is what happens when I say, oh, yeah. there's been we no jammer penalties. I, um, I'm, I had to apologize uh, to an England jammer yesterday. <laughs> For, for jinxing it. Oh, we have, I'm sorry, we have a lead jam for Norway and Rocky Gold. So Only one blocker on the track for Finland. So that means that Rocky Gold is going to get those ghost points. Yes. Oh, but Rocky Gold not communicating with the bench there. Let's see that lead status again. Rocky Gold takes the in and you can see a little shot of her bench getting a bit frustrated because they were telling Rocky to run it and she thought she was being told to call it. So perhaps a lost opportunity for Norway there, but still points on the board. There is exactly 130 points now between these teams. And we're just having a little bit of track TLC, turn to loving care, which is a good opportunity for us to not only thank our volunteers, the wonderful people in the yellow shirts, but also uh, to thank Kaya Skates, Quad Roller Skates, Plates and Accessories for Roller Derby, Lifestyle, Park Skating and Dance. It's time. Kaya-brand.com. This is how a skate's supposed to feel. Try the Onyx boot now and see for yourself. It is your time. So do check out Kaya-brand.com. If you fancy a new pair of skates, and we appreciate their support of this Roller Derby Cup so very much. Seeing a nice little shot there of the refs just conferring briefly with Finland's bench. A little bit of banter there between the two jammers for Norway and Finland. Again, a little battle of the sevens, 7-9 seven and 7-7-7. Seven, seven, seven. I do love jammer line pesky tricks. Yes. One of my favorite things to watch. Two blockers in the penalty box for Norway, including their pivots. So we are probably going to see a quick lead. Yes, a quick lead again for Sarah Gilbert and Finland. Nicely uh, offense, a nice done offense there by Norway, but not quite fast enough for their jammer. 
And we see 7-9, Torcha removing the star cover, but they are drawn back into turn three. We see on the screen now working on that Finland wall in the straightaway. In the meantime, Sarah Gilbert fighting one-on-one, -on -one, taken to Ooh. the end just by one skate, forced to reset in the straightaway as two of Norway's blockers re-enter the track, reset their wall up. Pack stretched out, coming into the apex, a little bit closer now. Sarah Gilbert on the inside. Quick and beautiful offense there by Norway, and then a star pass that we didn't quite catch uh, to Susie their Hot pivots. Dog. Susie Hot Dog. But unfortunately, before, any, before Susie can pick up any points, the jam is whistled. I think if Norway wants to, if Finland, Finland is not going to let Norway score unless they have lead status. Yeah, I think that is the characteristic that we have seen of this game so far is that Finland are very much seeking to control those jams. And when they are running the jams longer, they are really trusting their blockers to hold back Norway's jammer. And it is two for Kuyala for Finland and 31 Hammer for Norway. And Kuyala picks up leads. Very calm, looks very relaxed. As they come in for their scoring pass. Gets the hips pass, takes the outside line on one foot, sweeps to the in on the straightaway. Uh, it's amazing to see how Kuyala can take those hits and not be uh, pushed out. Kuyala is yeah, the her center of gravity, if I can, if that's the technical term, is so <laughs> stable. Yes. And this is why I love their jamming style so much. Just very calm, nothing fancy, no massive hops. Susie Hot Dog has the star for Norway. Susie Hot Dog is playing almost every jam, she, so it seems. She is, and I think there was a little confusion there at the end of the jam. I saw Susie Hot Dog remove the star, but it was before the jam had come to an end. I think it is because we have several other tracks in this hall, and so we are sometimes hearing whistles, the players might get confused. But it would not have made much of a difference anyway, as the jam was called before Susie re-entered the pack. Yeah, as of now, we have there is a behind us. There is a very loud game going on. It's a bit calmer here. Yes, we have the battle of the nines now. Nine thousand Una and nine 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 Pate Pop once again for Finland with the lead. I don't think Pate Pop has struggled at all to get out of the pack this game, but Una is out of the pack much quicker than perhaps in previous champs for Norway. But Pate Pop denying them those points. Still two minutes and the almost uh, almost three minutes on the clock for this first half. Uh, we are looking at a score for 13 for Norway and 100, 176 for Finland on the track. Now we have the battle of the 50s. 5-6 and 5-2, 5-6 for Finland uh, is I am Kastrin and I lost the other jammer. <laughs> yes, they're moving too fast. Where is the other jammer? It's Rocky Gold for Norway again. Okay. And both jammer, oh, we have a jammer race, which you can see in the top left corner of your screen and you will see it coming on the straightaway. A little bit of jammer on jammer action. Trying to call, trying to not let her pass. Just time quickly to thank a couple more of our sponsors. Double Threat Skates, expert advice from experienced staff. Head to doublethreatskates.co.uk. And if you are coming to the World Cup over the next couple of days, they also have a stall here for all of your skating needs. And Fifth Blocker Skates, a skater owned and operated since 2011. Gallus. So thank you to those sponsors. And we have 777 Sarah Gilbert. Style and substance takes lead once again. Torture working on their initial two to beat now at the front. Wow, what an impressive uh, bit of defense there by the two blockers of Finland. One-on-one -on -one action. 
with number 85. But number 79 does not give up. And a forearm is being whistled. Oh, that is on 39 for Finland. That's my runner. A taking penalty a heavy seat. jam for Finland. So, oh, good eyes there from Sarah Gilbert, who just, you may not have been able to see it on his screen, looked across the track, saw Torture about to re-enter the pack and called it before points could be on the board. So a, a challenging game so far for Norway. I think they are really putting out their best game at the moment, but Finland just outplaying them significantly in terms of that very quick lead jammer status and then controlling the pace of the jam thereafter. 2-4 Kuyala against 7-7 seven, seven Winberg, and it is Kuyala once again. Nice and low around the corners. 7-7 seven, seven Winberg with one to beat, does make it out of the pack. And now you see the pack speeding up in the straightaway. Norway trying to reform around Kuyala, but Kuyala picks up the points, calls the jam. We're going into halftime with a score of 13 against 184 and in favor of Finland. And on your screen, you're just seeing the replays of some of these Jammers, we have Kuyala there with the lead in, and then you see Winberg breaking out of the pack on that last jam. Kuyala re-entering on this replay, passes the blockers. One, two, three, four, and calls the jam. So Finland making a real statement here in this first half. You know, the, it is highly unlikely, in my experience of Derby, that Norway would be able to catch up that score significantly in time, but you know, everybody loves an underdog, and perhaps yeah, we'll see more points on the board for Norway in the next half. And we have a screen. Hey, well, I thought for a second there you were going to have to not listen to us talk. And that would be a travesty, wouldn't it? So, you have only missed the first 30 seconds of this first half, during which time Pate Pop, in a characteristic style, has picked up a lead jammer for Finland and has caught the jam, and we have a nice even differential there, that is 180 points. That's math, right? That is right. I did math, I did it correctly, yes. Yes. Get in. I corrected and it was correct, yes. This is why I don't do stats. So, <laughs> at the start of this second half, going into the second jam, sorry, we, 193 plays 13. Finland with a big, big game so far, and this, Half is going to be no exception if our one. Oh, sorry, I think I got the number wrong. It's 156, it's Mia with lead for Finland. Now coming in on their scoring pass. Breaks through Norway's wall, hops on the inside. But Rocky Gold also out of the pack for Norway, has removed the helmet cover, but is putting it back on as they come round for their scoring pass. But Mia once again, seeing what we saw in the first half, controlling that jam, holding Norway scoreless, which seems to be the priority right now for this wonderful team in blue. And now we have 2-4 Kuyala for Finland, lining up against 9,000 Ona for Norway. And quite a slow start off the pivot line, not something we've seen much this game. Una is at the front. Will it be a lead for Norway? Oh, not quite. They are knocked to the end, taken back. Nice there, waited for the offense by the Finnish jammer. But, but it is a lead for Norway, and Una looks very happy about that. Kuyala also out of the pack. We have a jammer race, folks, as they speed into turn four now. And some lovely defensive strategy back there by 217 of Norway. That's Benny Kill. Still racing around the track, old school derby style. And 
it is 3-2 in that jam. Finland with three, Norway with two. So a very exciting jam to watch, but not the perhaps the result that Norway was looking for. But at this point, points is points. Yes. In the meantime, Finland has passed the 200 mark. Yeah, we are seeing a huge, huge score here. This may be the biggest differential of today's tournament so far. I will try to find some stats to confirm you there. That was, that last jam was the first time Norway had scored in the last nine jams. So really, really well done to Norway. We now have another lead jammer status, 4777. That's Sarah Gilbert, but in the meantime, 3-1 Hammer also out of the pack. And, you know, I can't even finish my commentary before they call the jam. Give me a chance, Finland. Two points for Finland, zero for Norway. I think what I would really like to see in this half, I, would really, I really want and I hope for Norway to play their own game because I feel like in the first half, Finland was deciding how they would play this game. You know, they are in control. Norway are excellent strategists. They have strategy, they have set plays that they use, and at the moment they've been prevented from doing so a lot of the time by the speed of these Finland jammers. Oh, but maybe I speak too soon. It is 7-9 torture out of the pack, and this is the first time that Pate Pop 999 of Finland has not obtained lead jammer in this game, the first time. So a very, very fast moving pack there. Pate Pop edged out on the apex, back skates in track, edged off to the out, torture at the front, pushing on a two wall. Now a three wall and a cut a cutting track. The, a has cutting the track penalty for the jammer of Finland. And this is a power jam for Norway. And whilst Norway's jump bench is looking at them, Torture has their head down. Yes. Ah, oh, they now see the call status, so... It was almost impossible not to notice how hard that Norwegian bench was working for that to be called off. It is very loud in here. Unless you have supersonic hearing, you are not going to hear your bench coach, so the players who are taking the time to check in with their bench are able to run those strategies. And it does still mean a power start for Rocky Gold of Norway, but probably not with the extra seconds that Norway's bench was hoping to obtain. Two a lot of pushing and pulling right before the start. We can see Rocky Gold's footwork here. They are incredibly able on those toe stops. They use every inch of the track, but my goodness, that Finland wall at the front is so low. I think I could probably leapfrog over it. And Rocky Gold takes it aside. Ah, oh, unbelievable. Pape, Pate Pop is out of the box and picks up lead. So an amazing power jam kill there by Finland. Norway now too light on track. Two blockers taking a seat in the box. And it's worth watching that penalty box, folks, because we do not want to see foul outs. And a couple of them have already taken a seat there a few times. Pate Pop does an effortless jam almost. It's like uh, it would be easy. It, it's almost easy for her. She takes, takes the outside line, passes all the blockers. It's with her beautiful footwork. We'll see what happens next. Now we have lining up Ona uh, against 156 I believe uh, MIA oh. yeah. M and it is Mia taking the outside to pick up lead for Finland it feels like a while since we've seen Mia jam even though we yes. have had the half time so playing Mia a bit more in this half perhaps a uh, great little dodge to the outside there from Mia for the full of five scoring pass. Great work there by the Norwegian blockers. Start pass to Susie Hot Dog. Susie Hot Dog. Oh. And Susie Hot Dog just 
if we see the camera going on, it just saw on the edge of the screen, she dropped the star. It was all pretty confusing. It was probably an illegal star pass. Uh, yes, because now we can see on camera, we see 9,000 Una sitting in the jammer seats with the star back on her helmet. So I think you are correct. Oh, and we are seeing some lovely fans on the screen. Oh, look at them. They, they do don't know they're fil being filmed. Yeah, it's a good thing everyone looks excellent today for you. are probably all going to be on camera. Kuyala with the star for Finland. On now what is a scoring pass. And again, Finland plays the offense of the shattered wall where they try to break up the wall for Norway as much as they can. So their jammer has a lot of holes to choose from. For sure. And we are seeing some great kind of passive offense there um, from wow. that was one zero three. Beautifully done there by Ona passing by the outside. Quick footwork. And jam called, a couple of bodies on the ground there, and I think we have... Another forearm penalty yes. for Susie Hotdog. Oh, in that replay, we're seeing this beautiful work here by Norway's wall to hold back Kuyala. Really, really strong defensive blocking, and that allowing Una to sweep through on the out. And but at what cost? They have now two blockers in a penalty box, including their pivots. I mean, they are maybe able to play a little riskier strategy today because yesterday with the 30-minute straight through games, uh, in it was a four-penalty foul-out limit. And today now we're back on the normal seven-penalty foul-out. So whilst nobody wants to sit in the penalty box, that is a sad place to be. <laughs> uh, they, you know, it is not as a riskier strategy. You know, sometimes you, you get a penalty, but you've played, uh, you've played the best for your jammer to get them through, so it may be worth the sacrifice. Here's that replay again of Kuyala. Look at and her on the outside. Oh, so, oh, so good there from Una, but we did not quite get to see it. And this is now a good time for us to thank another one of our sponsors, Sweet80. Sweet80.com is the new roller derby inspired leisure wear brand dedicated to Claire Sweetabek Lawrence. Sweet Eddie's range of hoodies, jackets, vests, tees, and accessories are perfect for the track, gym, and street. Suck it up. A portion of profits go to the Claire Lawrence Foundation to fight brain cancer charities. Sweet Eddie.com, where roll give. And Sarah Gilbert pushes the, ja the blockers for Norway, the two blockers on the track, out of play. And some great offensive work lead. there by 3 9. That's Magurana. Another power jam uh, for Finland. Number 7-7 seven, seven is sent to the penalty box, leaving two blockers to fend for themselves on the track. I told you I jinxed it, didn't I? In that first half, I said, oh, we're light on jammer penalties. And then I believe we've had three power jams now. So I do apologize to the, to the nations of Finland and Norway for completely messing that up. Sorry for our strong uh, uh, announcing job. Yeah, no, it's no, it's it's obviously I'm just a psychic, just predicting this. <laughs> and as as Sarah Gilbert comes into the back, I was just struck down there for a minute by the the patience and the strength of that offense. Uh, we now see that Norway's Jama Winberg has re-entered the fray, pushing on that Finland wall. Sarah Gilbert stuck, but sees the inside. Sees oh. a glimmer of daylight just edged down onto one knee. Norway reform in front, takes the inside. Nice reforming there by Norway. And Sarah Gilbert looks at her bench and goes, you know what, this jam is done now. I have, I, have, I have fallen down and I have stood back up and now I would like to call my jam. And why not? They have worked very hard on track today for their team. They deserve a rest. So 19 for Norway, 257 to Finland. I'll be interested to see what the differentials are like on other tracks, but this is probably one of the biggest ones of the day so far. And we have 7-9 torture uh, against 9-9-9 Batebop. My instinct tells me that these have been two of 
the most successful jammers for their respective teams this game, but currently I do not have the the stats for that. But it is Pate Pop who has had lead every time except once that they have been out on track this game. Pate Pop enters the pack on her first scoring pass. Norway moving forward but holding strong, getting a little broken up now by Pate Pop on the out. And we have seen a star pass to uh, Edda Lingra of Norway, the captain. And it's a shame actually that we haven't seen Edda Lingra take the star more often because she is a phenomenal force to be reckoned with on track. Uh, very understated but very calm, knows exactly where everybody is at all times and that makes her an excellent jammer and an excellent pivot. So maybe we will see that strategy used more often in this second half. On the jammer line, we have number 31 for Norway and number 156 for Finland. Jamming. Ooh. And a 156 there. That's Mia. Is not lead. It's no pass, no penalty. Someone fell with her two feet out and then she passed them so their lead is still open and it is 3-1 Hemmer pushing with one to beat at the front and it is a lead for Norway a much needed lead it's their fourth lead in this game and it's been this is jam 11 of in the second half Ooh. Uh, Nicely stayed inbounds. And now Hema against that tripod of Finnish blockers at the front. Mia in a similar position, but with four to contend with. As Norway sends up a little bit of offense, but actually that just opens a hole for Mia to break through for five points. Nice one-on-one -on -one blocking there by Finland's number 18. Mia comes in hot to that pack, takes the pivot to the ground, resets, takes the out, scoots round. Is it another? Oh, just beautifully edged out there by 4 2. That is, I believe, Fatal Feline of Norway. Fatal Feline also an excellent pivot from when, uh, and they have yet to receive the star, but they are wearing, wearing the pivot's helmet cover. Mia comes around for five more points, looks at the board. Hemmer edged off again, but does call the jam, remembers that they have lead, that they have that control. And points on the board for Norway. Four hard fought points in that jam. So even though Norway had the lead, Finland actually picked up 15 points to Norway's four. But they look very pleased with that. I suppose at this point, you know, if you're scoring points against Finland, you're very happy. If you have lead, it's a good job. If you score points, it's another good job. Yeah. I think Norway probably know at this point that there is there is no way they can catch up, so they might as well just run those jams when they do have the control, yes. rather than playing the strategy of get points and call it. Yes. You know, use that time that you have on track. It is Kuyala lead for Finland, and it is Una again with the star for Norway, getting a lot more into her stride now out of the pack. Kuyala working on a scoring pass breaks through these huge gaps opened up in the middle and calls the jam. And we're seeing a little shot at the Finland bench there. Sarah Gilbert on the track for Finland, getting a pass into the first corner. And we have a couple of people building a little slow to get up, I think. She is back up, but she looks in a lot of pain. She slams into the wall. But is it's a issued a cut track a cut track penalty and it that leaves Finland on a power jam, not that they need it. 
as Winberg takes a seat in the penalty box. And Sarah Gilbert with a big push on the in. Norway doing a great job to try to get in front, but that finish sweep to the out. And interesting decision there by Finland to call that jam, you know, not choosing to run the points. They'd rather start on that power jam. And they are so close to that triple century mark. Two people in the box for Norway, one blocker, one jammer. It's a power start for Finland. And it, who better to take it than Pate Pop, who I believe is the lead scorer currently for Finland. Yes, with uh, 109, uh, a lot of points. A lot of points, exactly. 79 yeah. points, exactly, out of the 295. So, which is great because it shows that the whole Finnish rotation is really working to put up those points. But Pate Pop, with the lead scorer status at the moment, re-enters the pack on her scoring pass. Again, we're seeing that Finnish sweep to the outs to open up those holes. Norway reform in front, a few people take a knee. Fatal feline, no, not fatal feline, my apologies. That's 08 Espelut with a bit of a takeout, but Pate Pop through again. It's good to see that Norway is not completely struck out by the offense for Finland. Oh, of course. I mean, like, you know, Norway are capable players. They are just being outrun at the moment or outskated. Oh, but a lovely. Little bit of footwork there by Winberg, who is out of the box for Norway. Now round eligible to score, but denied once again by Finland. Finland now at 309 points. And on this replay, we are going to see Winberg with that little hop, skip and a jump. Hop, skip and jump. Should be the new Olympic. The new Olympic game, hop, skip yeah. and jump, but also on skates. Yes. I like it. We should do that. And we're seeing that lovely sign again. Ihana Silakat Ihana. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that, but I think it's super sweet that we can see it from here. It is Mia, number 156 for Finland, with a super quick lead jammer status. And Rocky Gold pushing that Finland wall, who are holding very strong, but if she edges them out so that they are out of play. In the meantime, Mia taken out, forced to reset. The tripod for Finland is doing wonders. Very difficult for the Norwegian jammer to pass. Rocky, a very characteristically tenacious jammer, though doesn't panic, just keeps on grinding away at that Finland wall. Mia re-enters the pack. Susie Hot Dog taken her all the way to the inn, uh, but she does stay inbound. The hair's breadth of a toe stop. And Rocky with a couple of to beat. Finland trying to swarm around. She edges past with those toes. Finland reforming again in the front. Take her to the out. Mia re-engages with the Norwegian blockers. Is slow temporarily. Looks to set up and does on the in, but just edged to the inside. Reset again. Breaks through that two wall for another five points. I don't know if you've seen it, but it's it seems almost as if the Finnish jammer was signing to her offense, like this one, take this one out. I mean, I would not be surprised, you know, these teams, you know, they have had opportunities to train together. Some of them will be from the same leagues. They will know each other's styles. Yes. And as Susie Hot Dog receives the star once again, in a star pass for Norway, the jam is called. No points on that last pass for either jammer. So the score stands at 329 to 23. So we are very, we are 300, no, not 300, my apologies, 297. 397. There's a lot of points separating these teams. 307. I've only, I've only had one coffee today. I cannot do this much math. I had no coffees today. Well, so how are you alive? I don't know. Is it the adrenaline yeah. of the derbs? Probably. <laughs> and Probably. when you've got somebody like Kuyala jamming, you are going to have a lot of adrenaline. They are just a wonder to watch, and they are lead again for Finland. Start stage by Norway. They don't even look like they have broken a sweat. Uh, great takeout there by Norway, but unfortunately, 
Guyala is just too quick to get back up to reset for another scoring pass. Torture, on the meantime, working on her initial. Star is in hand. Some offense comes in. The pack is very tight coming into that turn three. I can barely see where people are. And now the pack speeds up as Ella Lingra has received the star once again. See, my predictions have come true. The, po the, the star passes are happening to Ella Lingra. They heard me. Thank you, Norway. Give Ella the star quicker. I don't know if they heard you. I don't know if they did either, but I like to, I like to think that they I like to think that my vibes. someone from who is listening in Norway is sending our commentary to the coaches and then... It's all, it's all working. It's all working. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. Power of the internet. And we have 777. Sarah Gilbert up against 31. 31. Her and Sarah Gilbert with, oh, with a beautiful grin. They come round. Guns are blazing for Leeds. Breaks past Susie Hotdog like they're not even there. Smashes through that Norwegian wall. In the meantime, Hemmer recycled back by Finland. Resets. Sarah Gilbert through for another five. And turn four, three is the place to be this second half. This is where we're finding the teams resetting their walls, slowing those jammers a little bit. And, but a beautiful work there by Sarah Gilbert on the out. And uh, the great offense there by the pivot for Finland. That's 39, Maju Rinna, if I am pronouncing that correctly. Maju Rinna. Maju, Maju Rinna. And I am terribly sorry for all the Finnish people who are watching. And there's Sarah Gilbert again with that lovely spin. Staying in bounds for another five points. We are seeing Hema waving the star cover at Susie Hotdog. But now taken to the out, Susie preoccupied with her own defensive strategies here. It's always interesting to take the star only if you're in front and not when you're in the back. Oh, for sure. And, and then it's often frustrating for both players when that does not work. Yes, and what we're seeing as well is that Norway are being looked at by Finland who are aware what is going on. You see, they but had the eyes on Susie there. So, yes. yeah, so Susie now working on that Finnish tripod at the front as Sarah Gilbert re engages with Norway at the back. Hemmer now part of the wall. Interesting that Gilbert is not calling this jam. I think uh, because the Norwegian jammer is still on the initial pass. Yes, no, I think they were still in control, but could have decided uh, running down the clock at this point with five and a half minutes to go. Amazing, the, I never cease to be amazed at the multitasking abilities of these players. You know, because it is one thing to stay upright on skates, but it is quite another to play strategically. So, Sarah Gilbert, who was jamming that last jam, has scored 73 points in this half alone for Finland which is just unbelievable when some games have not even made it to those number of points. But Pate Pop on the jammer for Finland with lead comes in, has a look at Norway's wall, which almost breaks apart. Just, but just as she looks at them, they <laughs> broke apart. They went, no, she's coming. Let's get out of the way. And to be honest, when you're that competent, it's quite easy to scare a wall with just a look. Especially with the glittery makeup too. Yes. We have the pivot for Finland off to the box. That is two, five, seven. Lada. And Una out of the pack uh, for Norway. A, lot, a full penalty box, so it seems. Oh no, we've. Uh, but they have all arrived back. Yeah. The quite quite a penalty g heavy game so far. Yes, I've noticed. It's it's been a bit of a rotating situation with penalties. We haven't had any jams where it's been particularly heavy, and we haven't had you know we've had a lot of clean jams. But as the the game goes on and players are getting a little more tired, a little more risky. Three minutes forty seconds left in this game as we go into jam nineteen. 
and Torture out front for Norway. Yes. And it is a much needed lead for Norway. The crowd are very pleased about Fifth that. Fifth lead in this jam. And if I'm not being mistaken. Fifth I lead in this jam. That <laughs> would be impressive if we got lead five times I'm in sorry, one jam. I'm yeah, sorry. It's, it's a long day for everyone. Oh, I, I do not apologize. It's because you have not had the lead coffee. For Norway, this game. And if I am not mistaken, most of them are done by 79. Uh, that torture. is torture. And some great gazelle like footwork there from torture, working our way around blockers one at a time. Finland reforming into a two wall on the apex, now into a three. Oh, but it is a power jam opportunity for Norway. Let's uh, get our score on. I believe that is Mia's first time in the penalty box, mm -hmm. and a huge opportunity here for Norway. All right, and uh, we look at the offense wall strategy. They're trying to clear the in, and the jammer is stuck behind two blockers. The other two blockers are standing in front. But Torture looks at her bench, decides to call it. So Mia is standing in the penalty box, so with 10 seconds or less remaining. If I'm not mistaken, this is the first time that Norway has won a jam. 11 to 7, oh, so that four points more than uh, Team Finland. I think you may be correct there. And interesting that uh, to think what we were saying about torture being successful, uh, four of the eight lead jams that Norway has had has been won by torture and her pack. So we were not wrong, her being a significantly strong jammer, but a great power kill there by Finland in that last jam. Yes. Still a power start for 31 and Hema. And if I think it's the first time that we're going to see Ona on the track for Finland. No, number zero, zero. And possible. I haven't seen her on the track, I believe. Or not often. That is true, maybe. One jam. She has jammed one jam. Well, no, it will be it will be Mia jamming, coming out of the penalty box. An interesting construction there by the jammer line. Yeah, we see Finland kind of broken up, and Norway either side. So Norway perhaps going to push. We have three amazingly loud people in the audience. Just three? Yeah. Well, now it were three. I mean, very loud people for how the game has been going. These were the loudest people we have seen here today on this track. I also appreciate the Finland flag down there. Yes, there we go. We are getting a little shot there of the, of the Finnish crowd, the Finnish fans. <laughs> Who will they uh, support? I wonder what are they shouting? I, well, the sign says silver herrings, so maybe silver herrings. Mm. I can see some of my friends on this screen. I can see some of the Belgian players lining up for the next game. Yes, some secret signing between my countrymen and me. Still two minutes and 11 seconds on the clock for this game. And although we're not allowed to be biased, we all secretly hope, right, that Norway get the lead here. Yeah, that's we, true. We, yeah. You know, that's not biased, that's just feelings. Even the Finnish people who are watching, they are going to want this. And that's actually been one of my favorite things about this tournament so far, is that we've had these big, big teams, USA, Canada, Australia, uh, New Zealand, or Aotearoa, out on track. But what has been happening is that the crowds have been absolutely gunning for the underdogs. The noise against Canada versus France earlier was unbelievable. And Australia versus Argentina, first game this morning, the, the amount of love the audience were giving to Argentina, who have, you know, who are just an astonishing team, is really wonderful to see. So there's a lot of national pride in this crowd here at the World W World Cup, but there is also a lot of love for the sport itself. 
As you can see, some of the points have been counted off the board for Norway. So instead of 11 points, they have only scored nine in that last jam, still winning the jam, but with nine against seven instead of 11 against seven. At this moment, one of the refs is explaining to us what the official review was about. I think it was a, an official review called by Finland and won by Finland. Yes, so it is going to be a back block issued to Norway's jammer at the end of that last jam, which means we are going to see a jammer switcheroo at the start of the jam. Ooh. Which means, though, that, unless I am mistaken, which means that Norway's jammer will only sit for 20-something seconds because it, is the, it has been issued at the end of the last jam. A jammer switch means that they will only sit that penalty for as long as the previous jammer had sat. Mia was already standing. She is now re-entering the track. So if I'm not mistaken, we will see Torture standing in about 20 seconds time. In the meantime, though, Mia out for lead for Finland. So there go our dreams of All a lead for Norway. Oh, crushed, crushed by Mia. Well, if they're Scattered. gonna be crushed by anyone, I hope it is by Mia because, I mean, look at them. <laughs> They are she spectacular. Is spectacular. Be more Mia. Yes, see there, Torture now re entering the track, star in hand. So, and we have uh, Una, Ona, and Eda Lingra both headed to the penalty box. Maybe they're friends going for company. Yes. Oh, and a bit of a mix up there. Who sits where? They, sit, they look like they're having fun in the penalty box. That's not how you should feel, girls. Yeah, it's detention, but for grown ups. <laughs> Mia sweeps through on the inside. Little fun fact for you, although I'm sure you've picked it up. Finland have had 42 lead jams. 42 this game. That is game. amazing. Bear in mind that we are in jam 20 of the second half. It's still 50 seconds on the clock, so we're going for one last jam. And is Finland going to get 400 points? And if they do, I think, I'm quite confident in saying, I think that will be the biggest score of a single tournament game so far. That could be. I don't know. I will. I am putting it out there as a guess. Don't forget, this is the first day that we are playing full length games, two 30 minute halves. Oh, and Kujala just barrels through that Norway wall like it's not even there for Leeds Jammer. Una for Norway working on two at the front, one to beat now. Oh no, some reforming going on. Some great blocking there in the front by the Norwegian, uh, by the Finnish blockers. And Una is crushing my dreams again, a forearm penalty for the Norway Jammer which means that Norway will sit out 30 seconds, leaving Kujala on a power jam for Finland. And the 400 mark has been smashed by Finland, now on 407 points in this last jam. Unbelievable. Norway reforming at the front. Edda Lingra tries to take Kujala. Uh, but as we know her well and best, she manages, manages to stay in bounds. even how hard those uh, blockers test her balance. Yep, Una now re-entering play, hits that Finland wall at speed. Uh, takes to the in, to the out, but the lateral movement of that Finnish wall just too good. Kujala, however, really caught up by Norway. Some great offense offered up there by 4-9 of Norway. That is... Sounti? So uh, yeah, Ida Sorrentu. Sorry, I did not see the name on the roster for a second. And it's all happening in turns two and three right now. Kuyala and Una both out at the pack. Una still with a big smile on her face. She's jamming. She's doing what she loves. Yes. Aren't we all? Well, this is the thing. As the jam and the game comes to an end, if you're not loving what you do, why on earth are you here? That is a super, super tough game for Norway, but it's all smiles on track. All the high fives. Yes.
And Susie Hot Dog with hands in the air. Celebration there from Norway's bench. And you know what? A great, great game there. But I mean, huge congratulations to Finland for an unbelievable score differential.